Out of the bag, the secret is out. I'm telling you, it was the best kept secret in America. We're talking about UMBC. That is right. Freeman Robowski, the man leading the charge, has been at the Public Research University for more than three decades now. The university is bridging the gap through its growth and success stories. So the swimmers will be out there, mm -hmm. the commons, this will be packed with the student union, and this is the life sciences, the new interdisciplinary life sciences. That is a beautiful sciences. building. Yeah, yeah, I'm very proud of that. He came out here. UMBC President Freeman Rabowski was beaming with pride as we toured his campus. I know, I know my students. I know lots of my students of all backgrounds. On any given day, you'll see him meeting and greeting students along Academic Row. Let's see, everybody ready for tests? No, no, no. His encouragement, energy, and enthusiasm have been the driving forces behind the university's successes over the past 30 years. At March 18, yeah, 2018? Yeah. Something that was exciting to the world was when we made sports NCAA history. First number 16 seed to beat a number one seed, UVA. That wonderful UVA with all the billions of dollars. Great respect for them. But here is this campus. This young campus with players and a coach who all believe in themselves. But what's bigger than their basketball triumphs is the climate that Rabowski has created on this campus of about 14,000 students. On his list when he became president in 1992 was raising the bar when it came to helping marginalized students become successful. And he's done it. The Meyerhoff Scholars yes. Program, that yes. had to be a game changer. Oh yeah, the Meyerhoffs. We lead the country in producing blacks who go on to get PhDs in the natural sciences and engineering, and number one in producing those who get MD PhDs. Uh, people see here that it can be done, that you can talk about students of any race from first generation college to kids whose parents are educated, and you can help them to succeed. The message of UMBC is you don't have to be rich to be the very best. I love that message. That's an American message. And that message has evolved over the decades. Students at that time would succeed if they were really well prepared, uh, but many students didn't have the preparation and didn't do well here necessarily. If we accept you, we plan to make sure you succeed. In fact, we've spent a lot of time working with school systems, starting with Baltimore City and looking at what we can do to improve test scores, but also to help children to believe in themselves and to be prepared. The list of success stories is long. To name a few, Dr. Kazmikia Corbett, who helped invent the Moderna vaccine. James Clements, president of Clemson University. Former Surgeon General Dr. Jerome Adams. New Year. Adrian Jones, the first African-American and first woman to serve as speaker of the Maryland House of Delegates. The start. To a girl from East Baltimore, who grew up to become the Vice President of Economic Development for Johns Hopkins University and Johns Hopkins Health System. Comes to UMBC, does superbly, goes to Maryland Law School, does all kinds of great things, and now she's one of the leaders in our community. Never in my wildest dreams did I think I would be a student at Mervo and then one day a Vice President at Johns Hopkins. Alicia Wilson credits her UMBC education for where she is today. So I could point to specific professors that pushed me to apply for the Truman Scholarship, way outside of what I ever thought I could accomplish. And then to be the first Truman Scholar at UMBC. At another school, I would have been overlooked. And making sure no student felt overlooked or was left behind is one of the things Rabowski hopes to leave as his legacy. We care about other people and we are excited about ideas and about thinking and having passion. Did you never, never, never give up? We must keep hope alive, and that's UMBC, a beacon of hope. What a visionary. President Rabowski will retire from UMBC in June. He's going to leave UMBC, but he's not going to be gone. He's going to work to share the successes that they've seen at UMBC on a more of a national platform.